extra crispy pata. This is one of our specialties here in a Hobbit Tavern. The Hobbit Tavern is an iconic gastropub conveniently located in the mall Station 2, White Beach, Boracay. It was recently renovated in 2017 and under the new management of Freddie and Karen Elizalde and Virgilio and Jeanette Sakdalan of the Boracay Kalana Food Corporation. Hello! Welcome to the Hobbit Tavern! I'm Edgar. I'm ready to serve you. Come in! Thanks, Edgar. Okay, come in and enjoy. Thank you. At this cozy alfresco restaurant, you can expect an international selection of comfort food served by people of short stature, hence its name, the Hobbit Tavern. For refreshments, they have a comprehensive selection of cocktails, imported beers, and wines, including our favorite, a frozen mango margarita. For alcoholic refreshments, one of the best drinks you can have here is their fresh mango margarita. So they have, look at how many fresh Philippine mangoes they have here. Oh yeah. What kind of tequila do you use? Um, Cusic Cuervo, Cuervo Gold. Oh yeah, with blue agave. So proper tequila, not the local tequila. Triple sec and Lime juice. Yeah, that is a powerful smoothie blender. I love frozen margaritas. Okay. All right, looks like our Frozen mango margaritas have arrived. Look at that. That is ice cold. Look at the mango and you see the food. As appetizer, we order fresh mango margarita. Margarita is our favorite drink, and especially when it's with a fresh fruit, it's more delicious and fantastic. Mm. Oh my gosh, so refreshing and tasty. It's not sweet, it's just perfect, flavorful. I feel the kick. I can say only cheers. Cheers, my love. On their menu, we would highly recommend the beef cheese balls, pop-up Rojas oysters, extra crispy pata, surf and turf, and one of the best pancik paleboks we've ever eaten. So we ordered one of their best sellers here. This is the pop-up oysters, and we have, we're privileged to have the chef here. His name's Chef Gian Sakdalan, and he's going to tell us a little bit about these pop-up oysters. Welcome. Welcome to the Tavern. So here we'll have a nice spread today for our lunch set menu, so uh, you guys enjoy. First of all, we'll have our um, pop-up oyster. So this is our specialty. Aklan is most famous for our oysters. So we want to showcase it here at the Hobbit Tavern. Oysters forward. So here we have uh, the fresh um, oysters. Then here we have uh, the baked uh, oysters. Um, this one is the fried oysters with a nice um, sesame aioli with some smoked paprika. Then here's our famous um, Oysters with uh, some apple, pineapple sauce. Okay. Next for our next dish, we will have our um, our beef cheese balls. So we have our um, uh, it's uh, mashed uh, something close to a croquette. So inside, in the filling, we have a nice cheese, and then sitting on a nice peri peri smoked barbecue sauce, stuffed with some caramelized onions. Yeah, and um, for our salads, we have uh, 
right here to showcase our uh, tropical vibes. We have our um, Serena salad bowl. We have a mix of uh, fresh greens. You have um, you have some uh, red cabbage, some carrots, some onions, some cherry tomatoes, some cucumbers, and um, everything you want for being healthy. And for vinaigrette, you have a nice uh, mango uh, honey mustard. So please enjoy your starter. Thanks, Rian. I'm gonna start off with the pop-up oysters. I think this is a gorgeous presentation and what a generous amount of oysters we have here. I'm gonna start off with the fresh oysters. I love fresh oysters. And they're from Aklan. Oh yeah, these are so fresh. Mm -hmm. And I love the jus. Oh, that's succulent. Very nice, very fresh. These are the baked oysters. I guess it's their Filipino version of the oysters Rockefeller. It's like mozzarella cheese on top. Wow. With that garlic crunch. This is definitely the Pinoy version of that Rockefeller. Very tasty. Up next, the fried oyster. Looks very lightly battered. Looks like there's some chili powder on top of that too. I love spice, no problem. Very light crunch. That's delicious. Finally, with a mango salsa. So this is still a fresh oyster. Some parsley leaves on top, very healthy for you. Mm -hmm. With a light vinaigrette, adds a bit of acidity to that. Oh, that is a beautiful platter of oysters. You guys would enjoy this. And Oksana, you're gonna love this. I tried all oysters, and for me it's so difficult to choose only one because they are very different. I can divide that by like cooked and fresh. So among fresh oysters, I like that one with little vinaigrette. I like that everything was finely chopped and gives so much flavors. There is was also one soy. I love that flavor, but it wasn't too much. It was just perfect. And with that cooked oysters, uh, deep fried and baked oysters, I found very interesting this fried oyster because for me it's first time to try fried oyster. I didn't know that it's so tasty. It's fantastic. So for me, maybe if I will give place to each, it will be first. First, the fried oyster. Second, second. So that, how are you dignified? But I want to say this is a must order dish in this place. You will enjoy till last piece. For me, I personally enjoyed the fried oyster as well as the baked oyster with garlic. Probably the baked oyster with garlic was my favorite. Another appetizer we ordered is the beef cheese ball. So this is supposed to be like a croquetta in terms of mouthfeel with the cheese, a bit of potatoes that have been mashed. There's also beef and a little bit of mozzarella cheese. So that's how it looks on the inside. Ooh, got a little bit of gooey goodness there, you can see. Yeah, this is going straight into my gullet. Mm. Mm. I love the texture and I love the crunch on the exterior. It's a very light uh, bread crumb batter. And with the sweetness of the onion, it's a very balanced dish. Well, this would go perfectly with a ice cold beer, which they also have giraffe beer. Oh yeah. This is another must order dish over here. Delicious. Super tasty. Cheers, guys. Up next is a salad, what named Siriana Bowl. It looks very beautiful. All vegetables, very fresh, and it's even cherry tomatoes. So very well balanced. There is legumes and there is some carbs and tuna. That seared ahi tuna looks fabulous. Yes, okay. I like the. 
so I'm pouring some sauce, honey mustard sauce, blended with mango probably. The chef already introduced the dish for us. So mixing it. I feel the crunch of the salad leaves. Mm, I'm salivating already. The garbanzos was also an interesting ingredient that I saw. It's not very common to find that in a salad. Mm, true. That's why the, this dish is very well balanced. I think I need to add a little bit more. Actually, I added everything. Trying to get in one fork everything to check the taste of the salad, all ingredients. Mm. Wow, it's mind blowing. Mm. It's delicious. And I will repeat it again. It's super fresh. Mm. Very soft, delicious. I'm enjoying so much. A lot of flavors. What opens in that aftertaste bouquet when you swallow the food. Another must order dish here in Habit Tavern. So for your main courses, we will have a nice uh, extra crispy pata. This is one of our specialties here in uh, Habit Tavern. So you, it's stuffed with some onion rings, some nice uh, slow boiled old fashioned pata. We have a nice uh, pata balong sauce with um, something like a liver sauce. We make it from scratch and our traditional sauce. Served with some potato salad and some sauerkraut. For our, um, one of our new newest uh, specialties here at Hobbit, we have uh, the surf and turf platter, which we have our famous half slab ribs. Then we have some um, your famous oysters, some um, bacon wrapped prawns, and couscous salad. And let's not forget our favorite pancit, is our pancit palabo, which is our uh, traditional uh, smoked fish pancit. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, Chef. Up next, look at this magnificent beast ahead of us. This is the crispy pata, Pinoy style. So that's deep fried pork knuckle, and they just don't do it the regular way. This has been cured through brine for two days before simmered for another six hours before ultimately deep frying. So the European version of this is the Schwein, Schweinhaxen, which is the roasted uh, pork knuckle from Bavaria in Germany. And this is kind of like a combination of that because if you look at the sides, we have a sauerkraut and a German potato salad. So for sauces, they have their homemade lechon sauce, and this would be the Pinoy style soy sauce, vinegar, little bit of chili. Oh, I can't wait to dig into this. I'm gonna get this little bad boy over here. Let's try it with that Pinoy sauce first. Mmm. Did you hear that crunch? Oh yeah, that's super crispy. That is amazing. <laughs> Mm. Oh, that is an excellent crispy pato and with that long amount of time simmering all well, the fat has like been completely rendered so that's delicious now I'm gonna try their um, the other lechon homemade lechon sauce okay, I'm gonna get a nice crispy pot over here Oh wow. It's not so overpowering. It's not like a mang tamas. It's actually very gentle, refined lechon sauce. That's also delicious. Wow. I have that with a little bit of this sharp rock. Mmm. 
That's a very tasty sauerkraut. That really brings out your appetite to even eat more of this gorgeous beast. I'll end up with a potato salad. Good texture. Still has a bit of a bite to it. But it's not over yet. Look, even comes with onion rings. I love onion rings. This is ultimate comfort food right here. Ooh. Oh yeah. Absolutely delicious guys. Up next we have a gourmet version of the pancit palabok. Now this comes from Chinese influence, uh, noodles for long life. So this is spectacularly presented. I mean if you take a look at the shrimps, the mussels, the clams, manila clams, you know you have chicharron bits on top. So underneath there you have the sauce. These are rice noodles underneath. So we gotta mix this all up. And actually the sauce is made from pork broth. And but but what really gives it the flavor is tinapa flakes, which is smoked fish. Okay. I'm gonna dig in now. A little bit of that. This has always been a childhood favorite of mine. Clams there, mussel, shrimp, and wow, there's even some calamari. Excellent. And of course, you top it off with calamansi, which is the Filipino lime. Okay, time to begin. We have that with the shrimp over here. We get a full mouthful of this. Mm -hmm. Clam for good measure. Oh wow. Oh, that clam was poached. Oh my god. Oh, that's so good. That mouthful was simply amazing. You got the full bounty of the sea right there. This is one of the best palabocs I've eaten. I love all the fresh seafood there. And their sauce is so tasty. Mm. This will definitely put a smile on your face. Cheers guys. Finally, we have their surf and turf. So these are barbecue ribs, which have been grilled, then poached for four hours in its sauce, and then grilled again. And then here we have the same uh, baked oysters with garlic, which are quite tasty. And last but not least, grilled uh, prawns wrapped in bacon over couscous. I'm gonna start off with this grilled prawn. Lemon over this. Mm. So it's already been peeled. This is something you just can't go wrong with. Fresh prawns, grilled, wrapped with bacon. That's comfort food right there. Oh. That was perfectly done. Let's try one of these ribs. Looks like it's topped off with a salsa. So that was, as you can see, pork tender. Uh, practically falls apart. Oh yeah. Okay. And a bit of this. Mm. Wow. That's extremely tender. Succulent. It's been immersed in that smoky barbecue sauce. Oh wow, that's finger looking good. This is actually making me crave for a beer right now. Wow, beer? awesome. Up next, the Shire Burger from the movie The Hobbit. But you can have it here at the Hobbit Tavern. I already 
slice it in half so you guys can see what is inside this bad boy burger. Look at this. Now let's start off with that beef. This beef is free range Aklan tenderloin beef that has been grinded in house. And what is it served with? We got a nice pickle slice, tomatoes, fresh lettuce, topped off with the melted mozzarella cheese as well as bacon. I love bacon in my burger. So this is quite a nice, uh, I like that it's stabbed with a stick to so hold it all together. I'm gonna take a bite right now. Mm. The burger itself is extremely tender. A plan tender one is actually quite good beef, good quality. The burger is juicy. The bacon adds an element of crunch and this pickle fell out. I'm gonna add it in my mouth. Oh yeah. It's on the side. It's served with mustard, mayo, parsley, ketchup, and french fries. You gotta always have french fries with a good burger. Mm. This is delicious. And I can't get over the fact that this is a plan free range tenderloin beef. Wow, that's amazing. That's quite a treat. Cheers, guys. It's ube ice cream. Yes. All what I love. Ube ice cream and cheese. Wrapped in uh, like some mozzarella mm -hmm. with some breadcrumbs, deep fried. Yes, it's deep fried, deep fried. And with some sprinkles of cinnamon. And it's not super sweet, it's just right. Mm. It will be best with some espresso or Americano. It's on the way. And I love the presentation. You know, get a little bit of fresh fruits as well. Watermelon, fresh mango, mm -hmm. and uh, cherry. Yeah, it's super tasty. Looks like a great way to end the meal. Happy ending. Happy ending. <laughs> so it looks like we got a little bit of King's Gambit here. Queen's Gambit. Queen's Gambit, that's right. One of the things you can do here at the Hobbit Tavern. These giant chess pieces. I can't believe it. You gals know how to play chess. Of course. <laughs> I am now here with the artist of all these masterpieces, Frederico Elizalde. Hello everybody, welcome to the Hobbit Tavern. I just want to show you some of the works that I made. These are, uh, I would say my, my favorite masterpieces uh, from around the world that are very expensive, so I, uh, I made replicas of them, I painted them myself, and um, uh, we have uh, Mona Lisa by Leonardo da Vinci, the guitarist by Picasso, the three musicians by Picasso, and then if you look around, you will see we also have a Botticelli, 
Venus, or Botticelli. We have some Michelangelo's. We have some Van Gogh's. We have some Monet's. And we have a Vermeer, also the girl with the pearl earring. So you can see these are all uh, replicas of these original masterpieces. And very pricey, so I'd rather paint them myself. And painting is very much like cooking. It is the combination of ingredients or the combination of colors. And um, it's the way you combine these colors or ingredients that make the finished product. So, in a way, all chefs are artists. And this is another reason to come to the Hobbit Tavern for Instagram-worthy moments. So, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you in the next episode. Hey guys, we just had one amazing lunch at the Hobbit Tavern. Practically everything we ordered was delicious. So, wow, quite pleasantly stuffed. Now we're on the way back to the hotel.